Here's the VFR, and I've already done a few things to her. First thing I did was I clean and lubricated the chain. I used some chain paste, uh, so adjusted it too, so it's uh, the right slack. It was really tight before. The other thing I did too is I pumped up the tires. The back tire was at 25 PSI and the front was at 15, so I bumped them up to uh, 31 and 35, I believe. The throttle had a lot of play in it before, so I adjusted that. And I also removed those anti-vibration pads, but I might put them back on because the vibrations are pretty bad. And there's like a little pad here, so I wonder if the previous owner had a voltmeter or something. If so, I want to put that back because a voltmeter would be awesome to have. I also changed the oil in her, so she has brand new oil. But today what I'm going to be doing is the pair valve mod. Um, pair, and I'm going to do the flapper mod and I'm gonna do the snorkel mod. So back in 2002, Honda wanted to meet the noise regulations and emissions regulations and all that other bullshit. And they didn't really know what they were doing with this. I, I know, well, some idiot 24 year old's gonna tell the engineers they know what they're doing. Basically, when you're riding this bike, it has great power, especially in the top end, it pulls really hard. But one, where, one place it really sucks is in the bottom end, like right before 5,000 RPMs, it's very, choppy the throttle it just doesn't feel smooth it's like on off on off on off and then at the 5000 rpms it's like a flat spot and then it hits six and then it's a little bit better and then it hits vtech and then it pulls and the reason why is you have the pair system which is pumping air into the exhaust and then the air is going through to the exhaust going to the o2 sensor and the o2 sensor is picking up that oh it's air and it's making the bike put more fuel on it making it richer now when you're at the higher revs, it doesn't really matter. You don't notice it as much, but the lower revs, you notice it a lot. So the pair system really screws shit up. And then you got the flapper mod, which is restricting RPMs or airflow at the low RPMs, makes it quieter, that's why they did it. So it gets by noise regulations, but you're losing power, you're losing noise. And then of course, finally, there's the snorkel, which is basically, people describe it as trying to breathe through a straw instead of just having your mouth open. It, restricts air and it makes you quieter. You're probably a lot quieter with a straw in your mouth versus when your mouth's open, but you're restricting air. So I just want to open all those up and see how she performs. Some people say it's a night and day difference. Others say it's no difference. I'm gonna try it though and give you my opinions myself. So luckily in order to do this, all you gotta do is remove the tank, which is a super easy task. You literally have two eight millimeter bolts right here and then once those are off you can just pivot the tank up and then you're ready to go so I'm going to show you guys how to do all this all right now this whole tank should just lift up oh, I gotta take the seat off too always forget something now let's try this again okay so we have our snorkel we have our flapper we have everything connected which is good this right here is the flapper right here. Uh, it's inside there, I can't really show you, but the flapper is inside here and it's actuated with a vacuum from here. So in order to fix that, all you do is you just pull it from right here. Oh man, fuck. All right. <laughs> all right, so that's pulled and I'm just gonna tuck that over there somewhere. Um, the snorkel is right here, that's the snorkel. So I'm just gonna have to kind of pull that over there. And the pair system is one of these wires over here. So I'm gonna do all that. Just kind of work it so I get a finger in there. <laughs> just gotta, just gotta get my finger in there, you know? If I can get two fingers, that'd be great. Then she'd really like it. Holy shit. Oh my god. Holy shit. Look at that fucking rat's nest in there. Look at it. Oh my god. Holy shit. How did this even happen? Oh my god. Alright, airbox is coming off, tank is coming off, everything's coming off. 
This just got a whole lot more serious. Cleaning the filter, doing everything. Jesus Christ. Like the previous owner told me he did the air filter, and that was one of the only things he did, air filter and oil change. So, and he only, he only owned it for two years, so you know that this happened probably, if he was, unless he was lying, um, this happened in the last freaking year or so. Oh my goodness. Okay, I just cleaned and re-oiled it. It's been drying for about two hours now, so I think that's good enough. I'm gonna put it back in. Right. Okay guys, so I decided to show you while, while the airbox is off exactly what the flapper does. So the vacuum line goes into this little nipple right here and it sucks and it causes this cable to come up. So it blocks air from coming into the air box from there so it's only coming in through there which is also restricted with a little snorkel. So basically after a certain RPM, I forget the amount, I think it's like 3000 or 4000, this will close and allow more air to come in giving you a little bit more power. So by disconnecting this, by default, it's always down. So, yep, that's pretty much it. Okay, so they're both tucked away. I just kinda taped this one up and I just tucked this one over here just so it's not near any hot parts. And I mean, honestly, you probably don't even need to electrical tape it, but I figured better just to give me a little bit more assurance. So to recap here, I've disconnected this uh, flapper mod, which is just pulling that out. I've removed the snorkel, which just kind of kind of manhandled to get out of there. And I've disconnected the pair, which is right here, this wire on the side, just kind of disconnected that. I also plugged this hose here because everyone online was saying that, I don't know, there's a big debate about whether disconnecting the pair valve actually disconnected it. So I did both. I disconnected it and blocked it because the pair valve is stupid and it shouldn't be there. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this down. Everything is completed. I'm just going to carefully place this down like this. And now I'm going to try starting up the bike, making sure nothing breaks. So let's see, will she start and run normal? Started right up. Gonna let it idle for 60 seconds and then I'll go ahead and give her a quick rev. Give her a little blip. So now all that's left is a test drive.